in a new lab just outside Norwich. World leading research is going on that could help ease the country out of virus lockdown. With one testing station visible from the lab window, if you've come up positive recently, your virus sample could well have ended up here. Alex normally studies infections in people's joints, but like many other scientists, he's been drafted in to study the virus. It's very interesting, it's really exciting to come in and work on something that we're getting, you know, we're getting feedback straight away, we're seeing seeing results in real time. In the early days of the first wave, we were getting, oh, you know, 50 samples a day, maybe more in. Now it's gone down a lot. Positive samples coming to us a day, maybe five or six from the virology department. So the, the number of cases, the positive cases that we're seeing here, definitely gone down a lot. So what are they looking for and how will it help? Just like humans, the coronavirus is made up of lots of different genes. This machine can map or sequence all of those different genes, spotting tiny differences that can help tell us how it's spreading. Once they've sequenced all these different versions of the virus, they can start to build up a picture of what's happening across the country. That's where Justin comes in. You're running this project across the east. But what are you finding out so far? Well, the best way, Richard, is probably just to show you on this map. Um, there are different types of the virus spreading around the country and there are different types spreading around Norfolk, for example. As you can see here, they would be dominated by the colour green in this pie chart compared to, for example, in Scotland where we have the pie charts are dominated by red and different uh, colours uh, which represent different types of virus in Scotland. Knowing about these different versions will help us crack down on future outbreaks. An example might be if you had some cases in a factory uh, so maybe four or five cases and you wanted to know if this was a, the start of an outbreak in this particular factory so you could sequence these genomes quickly and return the information to public health experts and if those genomes are the same and they're the same type of virus then that is evidence pointing towards transmission within the factory. If it was different we would know that there was no need to introduce uh, control measures. If it was the same, we may have to introduce some control measures for the factory. You may have to shut the factory if it's the same, potentially. Potentially. This is one of 16 labs mapping the coronavirus across Britain in a project that's far bigger than anywhere else in the world. It's work that will help control the spread of the virus and eventually aid scientists in developing a vaccine. Richard Westcott, BBC News, at the Quadrum Institute in Norwich.